Total 10 students took over a Victoria MP's office today to protest against the expansion of Canada's tar sands. The time for sitting around in boardrooms talking about if we need to do something is long past. We need to act now. People paddled and pedaled their ways from the Assiniboine footbridge to the forks. And activists say they want climate change addressed. I want you to make the earth, the water, indigenous rights and human rights as a priority for your politicians. Nous exigeons une transformation en profondeur de notre société et un investissement massif dans les énergies renouvelables et alternatives. Estimated 10,000 people gathered in Toronto, Canada Sunday to call for climate justice and a green energy revolution. So welcome to the March for Jobs, Justice and Climate. Let's hear you shout. What's up? <laughs> My friends, I hope you can feel the energy in this park. I hope you can feel the energy we have together. We've known about climate change for decades, and we've waited our entire lives for our leaders to take action. As an African-Canadian Caribbean, I see how our shared path of 500 years of colonialism has left our children inheriting Mother Earth at what might be her weakest point since creation. Canada needs to accelerate the transition from destructive climate polluting sources like the tar sands and build a green, just economy that many of our communities so desperately want and need now. The solution is you. It has to come from you. When faith communities enter into this march today, they will do that as a prayer. We're here because we know that the few have too many and that too many of us have too little. We need to change the law that gives too much protection to the companies. Our response is a commitment to the public sector, the public interest, solidarity and justice. If we are going to address the impending catastrophe in terms of climate, above all else, we must have a capacity to make just and rational and difficult choices.